Hey, welcome to another video from Between CAD Classes. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get Autodesk Inventor to display mass properties in one of the corners of your screen. Here you can see I have a simple rectangular shape and I have a mass displayed. If I go ahead and add another feature to this one, let's say that I create a cutout here that cuts all the way through. You can see that my display went to not available, but if I go ahead and save the file, I will get the new updated mass of this part. So again, you can see if I delete that second feature and save again, it goes back to the original mass of this part. I love this feature. I find it more convenient instead of going into eye properties by right clicking on the part physical and then possibly having to hit update in here and getting the mass here. So how did I do that? Let's take a look at this. First, I'm going to start a blank file. So I'll go to new and I'll do an English template one. So I'll start with English and standard inch part. Then I'm going to add in some text. You may have never clicked on the annotate tab while you were in the part mode. Typically we use that when we're in the drawing mode, but I'm going to switch to the annotate tab and I am going to select General Note. Then I can choose which quadrant of the screen I want this note to go in. Personally, I like it in the upper left, so I'll click in the upper left here. Then I will choose the type of text I want here. I want to bring in physical properties from the model. Then I can choose which property I want. So in my case, I will just choose Mass. Then I can display the precision. So let's say I wanted to see five decimal places. I can then go ahead and add my parameter, and that will now display in the upper left corner of the screen. You can also add in some additional text. For example, if you wanted it to say mass at the beginning, you could certainly do that. You can also highlight the text and make any changes. I like to make mine yellow so it stands out a little bit better on my blue background here. I'll go ahead and apply that, and we can now see that that is available. So I'm going to save this as a template now. So I will go to save, and then I'm going to go to where my templates are saved by default in Autodesk Inventor. So that is going to be the C drive, then users, public, public documents, Autodesk, the version of Inventor I'm using, then templates. And then I'll go into my ENUS folder and English, and then I am just going to select my standard inch, and then I'll just add in a little suffix here that says mass, so that I'll know it's that particular one. I'll go ahead and click save. It's not in my project location, but that's okay. I'll click yes to that. And you can see that this updates. So this is another very important thing that I have to do. That alone will not work for me. You have to change another setting in Autodesk Inventor. So I'm going to go to the Tools tab and select Application Options. I'll select the General tab, and here on the right side, underneath Physical Properties, I want to make sure that I select to update physical properties on Save. If that is not selected, then this will not work. So you want to make sure that you check that. It is not selected by default, so you will need to come in here and check that, and then click Close. And I now have a template that will show me my mask. I'm going to close my template. Well, let's try this out. I'm going to go to new and then I will start with my new template that will display the mass. Then I will choose a material type. I have to have some sort of material in order to show the mass. Then I will create a shape. Let's say I just make a rectangle here and then I will extrude that. There we go. So there's our new part. I'll go ahead and save. And now we can see the mass updates. If I change the material, we can see the mass continue to update here. But once again, if I add a new feature, then I will have to save in order to see the updated mass. 
Obviously this will work with some of the other mass properties such as volume as well if you prefer to use that. Let's recap that real quick. Once again, we want to go to File and Options or Tools and Application Options. On the General tab, select Update Physical Properties on Save. Then in the Part File itself or the Template, we'll go to the Annotate tab. General Note, click in the quadrant where we want the note to go. Then we will choose Physical Properties from the Model choose the property that we want to display and its precision and then add it to the general note and then again we can change the color if we would like to do that add in any additional text and now we can see that in the bottom right corner i now have the volume of the part as well of course you could put these in the same note and just have multiple rows in here as well if that's what you're looking for I hope you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you next time with another video from Between CAD Classes. Thanks for watching!